If you want to play the sound bite, get your reaction on the other side. He signed a drug bill, which is one of the worst drug bills I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I voted against it. It's a, it's a bill that unfortunately is going to let out a lot of drug dealers and other people. But I personally think it was a huge mistake, and it'll come back to haunt us. Uh, it'll come back to haunt New York City, and it'll come back to haunt Buffalo. Tony, how could you assuage well, the fears of people who believe what the senator clearly does believe? Well, listen, the Senator Dale Volcker is a buddy of mine for years. He's been an advocate uh, for, for not changing these drug laws. And the reason is because he has six, seven, eight prisons in his district. And, you know, those prisons are full with people from inner city neighborhoods like the one I came from. And they keep the prisons full and they feed the community. That's why people like him don't want the Rockefeller drug laws to change because the, these laws chain, feed their community through the imprisonment of a low-level, nonviolent drug offenders. So for Dale Volcker, look, Senator, I'm sorry. You, it, go with the flow. Uh, work with us now. And let's, let's try to uh, walk on common ground to make these laws work where everybody, citizens, become safe. People who are incarcerated can come out early, uh, committed crimes. Maybe they have substance abuse problems. They don't believe, they don't belong in prison for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So you could keep the prisons full. That's not the way it's supposed to work.